microphone on last time. It did not record any sound. Okay. Hey folks, this is Alexander A. Manzoni with Cooking with Manzoni. Today, we are going to make chili. One of my favorite things to eat. First, I'm going to put on the apron. Might get messy in here. You never know what's gonna happen, you know? Shit could be flying everywhere. Some real shit, not just fake shit. Okay. All right, first we got the pan. We're gonna put a little bit of, a little tiny bit of vegetable oil. Just enough to coat the bottom. gonna get serious here and by serious I mean not as serious as I could be okay. they say Alex you should have been a chef well no because I would have probably had to wear a hairnet it's too much stress I need to be relaxed and what's more relaxing than cooking in your own kitchen and putting on gloves like you're a fast food worker. I worked for McDonald's for four months, three months. It was terrible. I quit. I ran out of there screaming. Ah, crying. Ah. You know, sometimes just can't handle the heat. So I get my Alice in Wonderland land mug. Okay, we got enough here. All right. We're gonna get the round beef. Yeah. You should get it out of the fridge, wherever you need to get it out of. You turn up the heat. Two more, three, four, three, six, four. All right. We got the meat. This is my life hack. I don't know how sanitary this is, but I'll use the bag to open it up so I won't have to touch it. That's just me being obsessive compulsive. I don't know. But I've been making chili for years and other things, and it so far it has not caused a problem. Except once in a while when I'll drop the drop it right in the plastic, uh, drop the plastic right in to the hot thing, and then it gets pretty hot, and it gets a little melty. Yeah, look at that! Didn't even touch it. Boom! I like that. Don't want to touch the shit that's fucking unsanitary. All right, let's bring it in a little closer. Put this shit up. Break it up, break it up, mix it up. Right. We'll turn it down a little bit. And then we're gonna get the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper, 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 pepper. Gotta get a little bit of salt and pepper. Gonna put in some garlic. Get some minced garlic. Sometimes I like chopping it, other times not so much. Yeah. Uh, I don't measure things too much, but yep. and a couple of these. 
Baby likes garlic a lot. All right, Sophia loves garlic. I am making chili, Ali743. About as close to scratch as I'm gonna make it. Open this up. All right. Gotta hear more than just the sizzling. This is the first time I'm using this new pan that I got for Christmas. Very nice. It's uh, Brandy Lane got this for me. Put a little bit more oil in here because this meat is a little bit leaner than I would have liked. I'm going to drain it. So, whatever, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna drain it, everything's gonna be good. It's gonna be tasty. Got your cumin, cumin, cumin. Are you Paula Shore? Pauly Shore. No thank you, I am not a comedian. I am a poet that sometimes happens to be funny, okay? I did do open mic night one time um, at the comedy club, and uh, it was pretty successful. I played one of my characters. And I guess the paprika, paprika, get some shakies, shake it in. I'll be adding more later. And again, nice and brown. Smash it up the front. Smash it. Chili powder. Smells like an armpit if you use too much. Just enough, you get that nice chili smell. Lowry's garlic salt. I am going to drain this at some point. Well, Mr. Soviet, Soviet Union, of course, people are starving all the time. I mean, I would be too if the government wasn't helping me out. Helping me pay for my food. Because as a person affected with bipolar disorder, I do not have a lot of money to live off of. Because I can't live a normal life like a normal person. Because I'm like this all the time. In Soviet Russia, chili cooks you. Awful. Where is Yakov Smirnov when you need him? That guy was everywhere in the 80s, apparently. I'm watching commercials, lots of them, from the 80s and 90s, and I'm losing my goddamn mind as a result. Oh, the ad guys must be creaming their jeans thinking about that. That in the future, people will be watching commercials on their own time. But the fact of the matter is, the late 80s, the 90s, had some interesting shit. And, uh, I've just been watching it because I want to get a taste of what those decades were really like and what a taste considering that it's like commercials that are pulled directly from VHS tapes from back in the day so you got all the news updates all the stupid little things all the uh, claymation bits from ABC and so what have I been getting from that? I have been getting I don't know but it's entertaining and depressing at the same time Seeing how far we come and how far we have gone backwards. A lot of forwards though. Our technology is pretty cool. I wish that we had more flying cars right now, but what are you going to do? <clears throat> My mother likes to tell me to not finish cooking it all the way because it will cook in the salts. It will cook in the juices. 
the chili juice. Alright, I get, uh, get something ready to... Um, my favorite part. That's when you dump off the fat. I'm going to dump off the fat and then start cutting up the onion because I forgot to do that. Okay. You want to dump out the fat into something because you don't want it in your chili. I know some of my friends back in the day, they'd be like, Ooh, I'm good. I'm making chili. You want to have some chili? And they serve it to me and it just got congealed fat all over the top of it. And uh, it ain't too bad when it's done. On late. I don't want that shit on my chili. Yes, some people will be like, ooh, you know, the chili snobs will probably have a lot of problems with how I'm cooking this chili. But, you know what? I'm getting it done, and it ain't out of a fucking can, okay? I'm getting it. So, it'll be nice. I very rarely have a bad meal when I cook. Very, very rarely. In fact, if I have a bad meal, I get very upset. And very fucking upset. I am that angry Italian guy that will threaten to murder when someone insults his cooking. You know what fucking fuck with my shit. You gotta do this without burning yourself. It's a lot easier when you're not looking at a camera. Try not to lose your meat. Well, that could have been more successful. It could have been, but it could have been worse. some lean ass meat. You work with what you get because the price of meat has gone so crazy upwards in these past few months. Like, you know, I think I got this buy one get one free at Safeway. This might be one of the last buy one get one free meats I ever get. And that's very upsetting to me, very upsetting. I am making the chili and it'll be nice. Um, okay. Mm, no, not that one. <laughs> I'm going to separate the meat. I'm going to put the meat in the bowl so that I can do the onion. Onion is French for onion. I don't know. I don't know French. I don't know shit. So I hope everyone's doing well today. I hope you're eating well. I hope you're surviving. And not forced to leave off of nuts and berries in the forest. You know, pine cones and the like. You don't wanna have to live like that. But if you're in the forest, pine cones and nuts might be a good, good meal if you can't find anything else. You know, nice squirrel stew. You should apply what I'm teaching you to your squirrel stew, too. Maybe. I would suggest um, perhaps brining your squirrel meat before you eat it. Soaking it in milk or something like that. I wonder how many people... I'm going to assume that the people who join this chat that don't have pictures are bots. So, thank you, bots. And thank you, Russian bots that are flooding Twitter right now with I stand with Putin and I stand with Russia, making it seem like millions of people are standing with the war criminal. Bravo! <laughs> I do not support war criminals, except when they're in the White House. Oh, Obama, whatever. He, he helped us out. He, he did. I don't have a problem with Obama. It's, every, it's the guy that came after him. Biden just got handed a bum rap, man. He just, he got handed a flaming dumpster fire of a country, and they're like, fix this right now. 
And now everyone's like, fuck him, your country's fucked up. It's like, yeah, it was fucked up when it got to him. All right. Now we're going to, I'm going to do the only own. So I'm going to rinse this in a little bit. The extra meat out. I like a nice diced onion and then some um, chopped onion to put on top at the end. Um, you don't have to have it, but it's a nice addition. If you don't know, my name is Alexander A. Manzoni and I am a poet from Spokane, Washington. A poet trying to live a normal life. Look at all this shit that's wrong in my head. Maybe. Maybe it ain't easy since COVID fucked up all the performers and the stages and things of that nature. Really, really fucked us up. Now we're trying to recover. I got a show coming up on the 12th. <laughs> Gonna be performing a little bit at Atomic Feds Boutique. And uh, I'm looking forward to performing, and I'm looking forward to seeing the other performers. We're going to make a decision. Which onion should I pick to use? This one or this one? I'm not going to let you choose. I'm choosing this one. This one I'm going to plant. my dried tomatoes attached to it. It was from summer. I tried to save my tomato my tomatoes for as long as I could, and so I dried them, some of them into a hard, hard rock. Alright, chop the end. Alright, let's get a little good chopping choppins. Yeah. Chopping. I want to get plenty of onion juice on my um, phone. It's at the end of. I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to do this. I'm sure I'm doing this wrong with somebody, but fuck off. I do things the way I like. That's why I'm here in my kitchen doing things. Nobody's here to tell me what to do and how to cook a goddamn chili. Dispose of your onion bits, however you so please. We're gonna go and I'm gonna do a half an onion for this. Well, thank you for the rose only, okay, or oh, I know you. You're a friend. Thank you. I know you in real life. Wow. I don't know a lot of real life people anymore. Or I do, but I don't see them. That's because I'm here trapped in... Well, I'm not trapped. I'm actually hiding out from reality. What the fuck am I talking about? When I was in New Jersey, I was trapped. Boy, howdy. Fucking trapped. No escape. On probation. Couldn't leave the state. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit like the knife. Sophia's father, her, her parents got it. Me and Knife said a couple a few years ago for Christmas. He also. Oh, you funny little bastard. Tilting while I'm cutting, almost chapping my hand off. Oh, I am still creating. I haven't missed a day of, of writing uh, in two years. So. I'm just doing this stuff now because I'm getting trying to get more eyes on the prize. At least generate more interest for my work in general. So I'm doing the Twitch streams. I'm like, oh, here, I'm going to do my video game video. And then at the end, I'm like, here's a poem. Right now, I'm a little bit busy to do a poem. People seem to like my cooking videos, so I'm going to keep, I'm going to do them when I, Think about it. 
I usually A, don't think about it, or B, the kitchen is fucking filthy and in general, and I don't want it, anyone to see. I don't want you to see. I don't want you to see. I don't want you to see. The night glides. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do it like this. Boy, it's been a while since I was chopping. I knew the chef type people would be like, you're gonna chop your fingers off. Well, if it happens, it happens. I have got health care. Boom. Not good health care, but health care. There's a, diff there's a big difference between healthcare in this country. You know, like, there's normal doctors that you pay money or your do your uh, office pays for. You're like, oh, okay. They give you the brand name medication. They'll take care of things. Then there is the doctors that are the Medicaid doctors whose jobs are basically to uh, save the government as much money as possible. So um, that's what they'll do. They'll try to save money by giving you cheap medication, cheap treatments, cheap everything. And you gotta just deal with it. And I've been dealing with it for a number of years. So I'm better off having something than nothing, you know. Get the green, out, the little bits out of the middle. I don't, I'm not a fan of those. Gotta pick it all out, gotta pick it all out. Otherwise, something will happen. Nothing, but something. Now, when you go to uh, put the things into the pan, be sure to leave the knife on the, the cutting board. No, <laughs> that's a joke. Oh, the chefs would go crazy if I said that. <laughs> All right. And we're going to go back over here. All right. We're going back to Cool Town. All right. Now... If there's a bunch of hair in this, what do you want? Look at this. Look at what I'm dealing with here. Right. This might be a little too hot. Always watch your eyes when you go to dump things in. You know, you don't want to go blind. Especially when you're, look at that. That's not good. Don't do that. Don't do this. Especially when other people are around. <laughs> I was supposed to save some for the uh, the topic. Mm. Well, I'll just cut some up and then um, add it to that. Okay, so you got your you got onions flying everywhere. So you're gonna put some salt. Don't salt it too much. Otherwise it'll be a little too salty. And then unless you're like my mother, who loved it, loves the, the salt, then it might be a problem. Oh, I always love an opportunity to use this thing. We got this at a vendor show a uh, few years ago. Fresh pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. Nothing like fresh ground black pepper to go with your fresh thingies. The fresh chili chili. Oh, yes. I forgot to add Worcestershire sauce to my thing. I'll add that later. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm going to get a secret item. No, not very secret. But it is an item that I use for the chilies. My secret box is a full of drums metal. <laughs> No, that's in the other room. Okay. 
Oh, come on. Oh, I got this from World Market. Oh, it's a very nice box. Full of Indian spices. Of course, I've used most of them. Um, hey, it's my fucking bay leaves. Okay. Well, maybe they're over here. Um, Dropping shit all over the place. Fuck. Fuck. Well, guess I used them. The bay leaves are gone. Well, you don't have to have the bay leaves. I mean, my mother never used the bay leaves. And uh, scoop out any of the... Look. All right, you don't really want fried. Uh, onions. No, not if you can help it. Let's start opening up some shit. Hmm. I'm gonna turn it down so you get a nice simmer going. I got some, uh, wish I had some tomato paste, but we don't have that today. I got some um, Italian recipe tomatoes diced with garlic, oregano, and basil. Beans. Pinto. Not the Ford. Wow. Now, I'm going to dump this disgusting bean water just right on top of my shit. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I am going to put the tomato in. Let me stop burning the fuck out of my onions. Sounds like an airplane out there. Ooh. Do what you need to do. Mix it up. Call up Emerald. Call up, um, what's that other one? Call a Dean. Tell her to not be such a fucking racist. Call up fucking Guy Fieri. Tell him to fucking get some fucking real style and stop fucking with his fucking frosted tips and shit. Like, oh, you wish you were Guy Fieri. I just love that. Whenever when people used to call me out on that shit, and I'd be like, fuck this guy. He's a fucking asshole. You're like, whoa, you wish you were that fucking rich. Like, yeah, I do wish I was rich, but so do you, motherfucker. Doesn't mean a guy ain't an asshole for wearing fucking frosted tips. Maybe I'm an asshole for looking like this sometimes, all right? Maybe I should have put my hair in a fucking bun, all right? Then I would have had a man bun situation going on here. Right. Beans. You don't want to put the beans in without uh, rinsing. So rinse your fucking beans. All right, rinse your fucking beans, all right? It always weirds me out how beans will uh, will give you all soapy like, coming out. You know, they're all bubbly, get soapy beans. Come on, make me a ladder. Ugh. Whoa, beans at the bottom. Extra stinky. Fuck. Get this fucking shit out of here. What the fuck? 
should I dump the bean juice in or should I rinse it off more? I'm gonna rinse it off more. I don't like that. I don't like the look of that. I don't. I mean, these aren't Bush's band, band beans. These aren't, uh, you know, these are just store brand. You don't need to get too crazy on your beans. After all, the flavor should be for the meats and the spices. Not so much the beans. All right, actually, ooh, look at this. I got a Bush bean here. Wow. Speak of the devil. Not sponsored by Bush. It would be like, you curse too much in your videos. It's like, yeah, well, you know, expect, well, how many Italians you're gonna get that are gonna be cooking in the kitchen and not cursing up a storm? You know, the fuck are you talking about? <sighs> I don't really talk like that. I do sometimes, to make a point. For the most part, I talk like this, all right? For the most part, I talk like this. Well, this is as high as it gets. Same could be said about me. Woo! All right, well, you work with what you can. Now, this freaking thing is pissing me off. And I guess I can't get rid of it. Well, I don't want to accidentally end the fucking stream because I'm trying to get rid of that goddamn thing. No, I don't want tips for going live. Kiss my ass. But it's either a choice between this or the um, when you go to download the file after you've done a live stream on TikTok, it doesn't keep the chat. Nothing. It's just a, you know, just a regular video. That's it. Nothing else. And that kind of pisses me off. Because the other day I had a lot of people chatting and I'm responding to people and I'm responding it in the sense that like, in a way that assumes that they, you could see the writing on the screen. So am I supposed to read out all the messages and say, Hey, well, you know, that's good. How are you doing? Oh. Or am I supposed to do this? So red some my fucking beans. This is why it takes me all day to do shit. I like to squeeze my beans a little bit. I'm sure somebody can tell me why that's wrong. Although a lot of people don't want to tell me that I'm doing something wrong to my face because they think I might be a little bit crazy. I might be a little bit crazy. I might be a little bit crazy. Now, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. Just, just don't insult my children. All right. And you won't have to because it'll be pretty tasty. My mother had me cooking at age, um, oh, as, as early as I could roll a meatball. And she was like, all right, well, you're going to have to learn a thing or two about cooking. I ain't doing this for the rest of my fucking life. And she was right. But my parents separated when I was four, so I had to grow up quick. And one of those things was learning how to cook for myself. Because my mother always used to um, talk about how my dad uh, didn't know how to take care of himself. He was raised as like the old Italians, where you got a wife, you did your job, you had your wife, and the wife took care of everything. They cooked, they cleaned, they massaged your feet, they do what the fuck ever. And um, that's just not the world we're living in anymore, you know? But he kind of was expecting me to live like that. And, um, well, it was just fucked up, you know? I had to learn to, to do a lot of things on my own. Or at least with a little help from mom, but not with the support that a normal person would have from their, their uh, family. My dad did like to throw money at a lot of things. And until the year, like, 2003, when the house burnt down, no, I have not tried Trader Joe's breadsticks. Are they any good? Because we like a good breadstick. I also like our, uh, what is it, the Texas Toast. We like a lot. All right, let's turn her up. 
and um, I'm gonna add a little bit more of my spices that I probably dumped out when um, I strained out the fat. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of my Louisiana hot sauce that I ran out of, but life hack, when your hot sauce runs out, you just put in some vinegar and uh, white vinegar and you will be able to get some out of it. A little bit left. Because I need to have some Tabasco sauce or some hot sauce on my chili. Okay. I didn't used to like the stuff, but now I love it. I uh, I learned the love I learned to love hot sauce when I moved into the recovery house in Pennsylvania, Levittown, and I moved in and these guys taught me how to cook chicken wings and eat it with hot sauce. Yes, they were black. But damn, that was good chicken and good hot sauce. <laughs> the guy who was one of the managers of the house, I remember one time they uh, called him out for, he went to the grocery store to get chicken wings and he took off um, the labels and he put a label, like he switched the label so he could pet, buy, get cheap meat. And they really call him out for that. He's like, man, you know, you're not on drugs anymore, but this is definitely some drug behavior. And it is. And that's not good. You can't be acting like that. Oh, God, I lived there for too long. That was the year 2000. Uh, from November 2007 till, I guess I moved out of there in June or July of 2008. <sighs> It's like 14 years ago. What the fuck? That was a long ass time. I'm gonna add the meat. Fucking would have fucking had the goddamn meat video, but you know, busy yakking my gums. You knucklehead. Stay. 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 So what's the shit? Mix it up. I want to get it too hot. I just want to cook it. You know, ideally I would have been cooking this all day, but you know, you come home from work. Sophia came home from work, and we want chili in a reasonable time. I might have been done cooking it already if I wasn't too busy doing uh, this. But you know, this is part of my work. My it's part of my end goal to get the subscribers and the followers and the likes and the things so maybe I can get off the fucking disability one day. Come on, help a brother out. My Venmo is at Paying Manzoni, also Cash App. I would really appreciate that. Or any donations would be great. It would be great. If not, follows are great. Or just watching the stream. Hey, why not? I appreciate every view and every follow and every nice comment I need more engagement. I am not engaged with people, so they're not engaged with me. Engage! Engage, damn it! Engage! Please! 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 I'm begging you here. No, I'm not. I'm not on my knees. Please, God, please help me. My sanity knows no bounds. And my lack thereof. Oh boy. Well, this is gonna be nice. I have to break up these bigger chunks. I mean, I probably, um, looking back, I wouldn't have bought, I would have just bought like the tomato paste and some sauce or whatever, because Sophia don't like this stuff, but she could pick it out. The big chunks of tomato. I'm gonna try to break them up. She need your baby carotenes, your vitamin things, you know. get back to business here. I need to chop the damn onion for the damn damn. So. Oh, I did not want to get the bean juice on there. I must 
try to see every morsel, every molecule of food. Because we are in a ter terrible situation here with our food supplies, electronics, and everything else. It's like, what the fuck? We got the war in Ukraine, we got the war in Iraq still going on. It's like, what the hell? Shit is fucked. And uh, we're looking here, we're like, man, our burgers cost more money than our steaks. Yeah, they do. Boy, howdy. Good luck trying to get a PS5. They still haven't restocked those things. What, two years later? Can't imagine what it's going to be like when, a new iPhone, when another iPhone comes out. They're going to be like, oh, can't buy an iPhone. Can't get a fucking microchip. Too busy. You used up all the guy. What do they use? All the goddamn silicon and all the goddamn cobalt making the other fucking phones every goddamn year. Should have found a way to reclaim some of that shit. So we could recycle some of these old phones and be able to, you know, survive and just keep using up our shit that we throw away. So then we gotta keep making new shit and make shit that breaks since so you gotta keep buying shit. And now we're like, ooh, we can't keep making new shit because there ain't enough shit to make the new shit with. Thank you. Fucking dolts. Should have thought of that a long time ago. You should have thought of that. That's the story of my life. My mother used to tell me that all the time. My, my buddy. Should have thought of that. Oh, I want to wish a very happy birthday to my father, the uh, the criminal, Mr. Drug Manufacturer, Mr. Selling H and meth in a school zone and cocaine and all that. So look up. Alexander A. Manz or Alexander Manzoni, Newfield, New Jersey, and you'll see his picture. It's very nice. It's a very good picture. So I haven't talked to him in about I don't know two years now, because uh, he's still living with a bunch of drug dealers, and I do not want him knowing where I live. There's a couple people in my life that uh, are like that, but my father was fucked up. So we got him. I got my buddy Barnsey. They just. They want to move in with me and um or just like take up all come out here and take up all my fucking time and um you know that would have been great six five or six years ago when i first moved here but nowadays it's like what the fuck you missed the fucking boat i don't want to have anything to do with a motherfucker who's gonna die me down and uh my tolerance for stupid dumb drunk shit is <laughs> I can't put up with that shit anymore. It fucking just drives me crazy. Like, the only reason I used to put up with that shit was because I was drunk and drugged up too. And it was like, ooh, well, this person bought me cigarettes. Ooh, this person's getting me some rock. Ooh, this person's doing this. I guess I better do this for him. Guess I better not say anything. Fuck, Dad. I'm living my life the way I want to. Pack up these onions. So, what do you like to cook for dinner? Sausages? Do you like big sausages? Or do you prefer something a little bit more fancy? Or maybe not. You know, I'm out here in Washington State. People are not usually not very fancy. Except the rich people. Ooh, I'm rich. Ooh, I've got some money. Ooh, look at me. Ooh, I live on the south here. Ooh. Put this in the fridge. Or else. Taste your shit before you serve it to people. You need a little bit more salt. Garlic salt. Thank you, so. And then the secret ingredient love. Not that. Not that kind of love. 
That liquid love. I'm going to do that. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, you really don't need to get too fancy with it. That's about as good as it gets right here. Spadoosk. I don't know what that means. But, um, yeah. This shit is just about ready. If you would like to uh, go into the oven and bake some uh, something to go with it, some bread-like object, that would be great. Or if you would like to do something else similar. But, uh, you know, you don't need to get too crazy with chili. I know a lot of people like to put weird stuff in it, like coffee, um, chocolate. I don't know. Weird shit. Well, I guess that's not too weird. I've never felt comfortable enough to be, uh, to risk it, to be like, ooh, here's some chocolate. I'm gonna put some chocolate in there. Because who knows what that'll taste like. It might taste like burnt fucking dog shit for all I know. <clears throat> oh. Bone jaw, Capitone. Be sure to clean up after yourself. Normally on cooking shows, they don't show that part because, well, the, the chefs, they don't need to cook out, clean up after themselves. They're too important. Guess what? You're not fucking that important. Oh, wait, you are. Because you're the viewer. You're the most important person in the world. Oh, what if I can try to butter you up? Hey, you can butter I'm buttering you up. Rinse your cans out before you put them in the recycling, okay? That would be great. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited for this chili. I am excited for everything that's coming up in the next few weeks. I mean, I'm not excited for the possibility of World War III, but I'm excited for my show that will be coming up. I mean, it's not my show, it's Atomic Threads' show, but I like to think of it as my show. <laughs> this will be the first time I'll be performing on a, um, at a venue with drag queens, which will be interesting, because this household is a huge fan of RuPaul's Drag Race. We were just watching the UK versus the World yesterday. We get very heated about uh, the stuff that happens on those shows. I don't know why, but at least I don't go onto Twitter and blast people like they do. Like, it's crazy, the, uh, the drag queen uh, fans that go on Twitter and they just send death threats to people because, you know, they did whatever the producers were telling them to make drama for the show. It's like, what the fuck? I get heated, but I don't fucking send death threats, motherfuckers. You gotta pull down. I gotta pull down. And what better way to cool down than that tall, cool glass of Russian vodka? Wait a second. Imported by, uh, produced by Latvia? Eh, it's not Russia. Doesn't even say Russia on it, as a matter of fact. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I've had this bottle of vodka for like two or three years. I don't drink. But I like having a drink collection. So, come over, have a drink. Just don't fucking get drunk and all pissy at me. I'll fuck you up. Yeah, I could be nice, but that only lasts for about four hours before my reserves run dry and then I uh, start getting irritable and more of <laughs> comes out as opposed to, aww. 
It would be interesting if I just did everything in a very soft and reassuring voice. Hello, this is Cooking with Manzoni. Today, we're going to make chili. Why indeed? Why indeed? I'm finishing up this chili because it makes me happy. What makes you happy? Smile on the sunshine, a happy dog on a cloudy day, rainfall on a volcano. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my, I got problems. Okay, I got problems. That's why I thought this might be, you know. But uh, you know, this is mental illness here that you're watching in action. Played up a little bit for the camera, but that's what I'm dealing with here. I've been dealing with it since I'm 13, I'm 36 now. So that's a long time to be dealing with that shit. Oh, I just, um, I get exhausted and, and I, have, uh, I have a severe mental illness, so it's just, that's just how I am. Like, people um, get on my nerves. Or even just, like, going out, like, um, if I go out somewhere, about the four-hour mark is where I start getting irritable. And just like, I need to go, I can't stand being here. <sighs> Unless it's something really cool, something I was really like wanting to come to, and then maybe uh, it'll be like six hours. But, um, yeah. Can't do like what I used to do, and I'd uh, go... S oh, I'm very cool with those knives. Very cool. I cut myself quite often, but not recently. Being more careful. Gotta be very careful, Mr. Graham Franco. You gotta be careful, otherwise you're gonna get cut. I used to cut things for a living when I worked at the country club. First I was a dishwasher, then I was a food prep, and basically a food prep does a lot of cutting. I cut up the mushrooms, I cut up yonions and things, and I did that for a while, and uh, it was just tough, because I need a, a routine as just part of how I survive dealing with this illness. I need a routine, I need things at this time done in a certain way. And when I worked at the job that I worked at, they never had a regular schedule. So I never knew what day was when, what time to schedule my appointments. And you know, after a while, was, the employers did not accept uh, the amount of time I need to spend at doctor's offices. Of course, the doctors I go to don't let you come in on weekends or off times. You gotta fucking come in during the week, bitch. That's something I never really understood. But, um, you know, you, you deal with it. I just wish I got on um, disability back then. Like, I could have been on that shit in two, in, back in 1999 or 2003. Instead, I didn't get on the shit till like, 2015. I applied in 2012. So it took, like, two or three years for it to go through, how to get a lawyer, all of that. But basically out here they were like, oh, if you'd been in the hospital two times in three years and you have a pattern of unemployment and this and that. And I'm like, yeah, that's me, thank you. They will always deny you the first time. So you gotta appeal and then appeal the appeal. And then, uh, well, after they deny you, you go to appeal. But when you go to appeal, you gotta have your lawyer. So if you're gonna thinking about applying, because a lot of people have undiagnosed mental illness. They're like, why am I like this? Why, what is going on with me? I don't know why. So there's some answers for you. Because people talk me out of um, getting help so many times. They would tell me that I'm, uh, they would tell me I'm faking it. They would tell me I'm, a drama queen, they would tell me that I'm not sick enough. I'm like, how many, men, how many mental hospitals do I have to be in before I'm sick enough to fucking go on disability? The answer in Washington State was two in three years. So I way overshot that mark. I mean, they had me on, uh, give me shock treatments, ECT, when I was 16, which was awful. 
I was the youngest person that they ever did that to at Friends Hospital at the time. They're probably doing it to some younger kids now. I don't know. So, yes, I'm very happy with how this turned out. I gotta heat up some shit though, and uh, you know, it's just a matter of putting stuff away. It's one of my tips is to put stuff away while you're cooking. That way, it's not as much of a crazy mess when you go to take care of it later. So my spices, I've got all kinds of oils too. Ooh, oils from, now mind you, this is not a cure for your mental health. This is some supplements that will help. Um, aromatherapy is very nice. Get some nice aromas. Right now, my aroma though is chili. Man. Really wish I had them bay leaves, but. Work with what you got. Okay, I am going to get things up. Oh, wait, right, what's that? Oh, what do you mean? What stuff uh, I take now? I take gabapentin. Well, there's certain there's certain keywords that they ban you for. I try to avoid those, and it only comes up if someone reports you. Um, so as long as nobody's a bitch, I can talk about certain things. And other things I gotta talk about in a roundabout way. Like I was an H addict. I was on the stuff, the junk. You know, but I take gabapentin, propranolol, methionazole, carbamazepine. I get the loratadine for my allergies, and um, buprenorphine for my chemical dependency. And uh, yeah, which is it's a reduction in medicine. Uh, I used to take more stuff, but some of the stuff I was taking wasn't working, especially for my stomach. So the doctors took me off of it. So you know what? I'm just it's been a long process of adjustments and finding the right thing that's what you got to do because uh, mental health it's very difficult trying to get on the right meds and stuff like that it's fucked up that they make you um, you know walk uh, walk on eggshells talking about certain subjects because they're like oh they look for the keywords that you can't say so you get banned or whatever well you know what? There's certain things that need to be talked about. Some things, you know, like my friend's dying from chemical dependency, a.k.a. the H, a.k.a. cut with the fent a uh, meal. Killing my friends, I mean. I would love to go back to New Jersey to take a visit to go to Philadelphia, but most of the people I know, well, not most, but a lot of them, like over 10, dead, drunk, most of them drugs. And it's every few months, every six months. I had an ex-girlfriend die last year. So that's um, three ex-girlfriends of mine that are dead. One from heroin. No, two from heroin. One from, uh, yeah. One from just, she had really bad health and she had seizures and stuff. Oh yeah, I wasn't supposed to say that word. Well, you know what? That's what happened, okay? I'm not supporting it. I'm not endorsing it. I'm just saying it. That's what it was. That's what killed her. Damn. And it's continuing to kill. And the depression that this, I don't know, maybe it's society that's making people so depressed that they're willing to take the chance to, uh, to risk their lives to get high. You know? I used to risk my life to get high almost every goddamn day. Usually every day. And uh, that was because I had no hope for myself or for others. But now I do have hope, so, hey, stuff's a lot better. I'm suffering a lot, but it's like not quite on the same level that I used to suffer when I wasn't on medicine, when I was an alcoholic. Said a very bad alcoholic. So, I'm glad I'm not there anymore. I'm really sad that I couldn't get my shit together sooner, so I wanted to go back home and have a big triumphant coming home party. But 
Most of them are dead. Some of them are Republicans now. And um, others are really hard into drugs and they're just assholes. My father, happy birthday, Dad. It's his fucking birthday. But I can give a fuck. Because he's an asshole. He's a woman beater. I used to beat my mom. I used to beat the ladies in the um, special school. He works with, you know, he lives with a bunch of drug dealers. He is a, enough, in a sense, a drug dealer now. Or he alleged, because he hasn't been convicted yet. What's fucked up is when you search for me now on, uh, on Google, his fucking mugshot comes up. So you look up Alexander Manzoni Spokane, and then you go down the list and you'll see his fucking face. Like, ooh, 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 goofy looking motherfucker. It's like, what the fuck, man? Where the, what the fuck happened? Well, he lost hope, and that's what happens when you lose hope, you know? So, yeah. Should I call him on his birthday? No, I didn't call him on Christmas. I didn't call him for New Year's. I don't fucking call him because I don't want to talk to him. And he doesn't want to talk about anything real. He wants to tell me everything's okay. And it's not okay. Shit has not been okay for a very, very long time. So I'm just living my life, doing my thing. I am very happy that you could join me. I'm going to make the chili. And I'm going to let you know later how it turned out. Because, uh, yeah, I'm going to go outside for a bit. Have a cigarette, cause still working with that, but it's a process trying to get off that shit. One thing at a fucking time, all right. And um, I'm gonna have a good evening. So thank you very much. This has been cooking with Manzoni, chili edition. Thank you.